The delete line command lets you quickly delete the current line. Say that I want to remove this comment, for example. Rather than going and selecting it like this and then pressing delete, I can just place my cursor somewhere on this line, doesn't really matter where, and then use the delete line command. The default key binding on Windows and Linux is Control Shift K, and on Mac it is Command Shift K. So I'll do Control Shift K or Command Shift K and run delete line here. And you can see it got rid of that entire line, left my cursor in the same uh, column position if possible here, and I was able to quickly clear that line just like that. Now you can also use delete line with selections. So say that I want to get rid of this entire block of code here, I can just start making a selection. I don't have to actually select the entire line up here, I just need to have the selection include part of this line. And then when I run the delete line command again with Control shift k or Command shift k it will get rid of all of that content. Again, I didn't need to select all of this content explicitly. I could just make a rough selection and then go and run the delete line command, saving you a little bit of time. Of course, this also works with multi-cursor. So let's say I want to get rid of a few different things. I could go up here, then hold down Option or Alt, and then create some multiple cursors in this file. Now I have some cursors here. And when I run delete line, you can see it got rid of all of those. So you can use the delete line command to come up with some really creative edits, especially with multi-cursor. I find that the delete line command can really save you some time because you don't have to worry about exact selections. If you want to get rid of a single line, just have your cursor anywhere on that line. Or if you want to get rid of a block, just select somewhere within that block of code and you can get rid of all the lines with a single command.